when you're researching how to take care of your moisture barrier, how to keep it healthy, how to maybe strengthen it up, or how to heal it from damage, one ingredient comes up time and time again, right? Just add a lot of ceramides into your routine and all your barrier problems will go away. And it makes sense. I mean, ceramides do make up 50% of your skin and they do play a crucial role in your skin barrier health. But, but, ceramides really are only one piece of the puzzle. They are an important piece, but they are only one piece of the puzzle. So give this video a big thumbs up because today I want to share with you guys six ingredients that are not ceramides, six ingredients that can really help boost your barrier health. Okay, so ingredient number one that will help your moisture barrier is niacinamide. What can't niacinamide do for you? I mean, this is really a well-rounded superstar skincare ingredient, right? A lot of us know niacinamide for really being able to brighten up our skin. Niacinamide is very famous for giving your skin a really even glow but niacinamide has a whole host of other benefits for your skin, and one of them is really exciting for your moisture barrier. When you use niacinamide in percentages of 2% or higher, it can actually stimulate your body's own uh, production of ceramides, cholesterol, and fatty acids. Now, ceramides, cholesterol, and fatty acids, those are three crucial uh, components of your moisture barrier. They are in your skin right now and they make up your moisture barrier. It's about 50% of ceramides, it's 25% cholesterol, and 15% fatty acids. And we can certainly apply those topically to our skin and they do help our skin when we apply them through our skincare, but there's nothing like your body making it for itself, right? It's totally usable, your skin knows exactly Exactly what to do with it and niacinamide can actually signal to your body to make more. So where can you find niacinamide in 2% or higher? Because remember, we need to have at least 2% for this effect to take place. And I'm gonna recommend for you guys the Purito Fermented 94 Boosting Essence. Now you might be surprised, you might be thinking, well, what about a niacinamide serum? But this is actually um, a really great little uh, first time essence for you to use in your routine. So yes, 94% of the essence is made up of fermented ingredients, which are great, they can Really help your skincare uh, penetrate into your skin better, making them a little bit more effective, and it definitely will have a brightening effect for your skin. But this also contains 3% niacinamide. Three, we get an extra 1% in there. 3% niacinamide, so this is going to have the ability to kind of help your skin regenerate and to produce more ceramides, cholesterol, and fatty acids. Now, this product, just like all the other products that I'm gonna recommend in this video, are free, free. Uh, free of fragrance, free of any drying alcohols, and free of essential oils. All three uh, ingredients, by the way, that I would not recommend for barrier health. Ingredient number two is Panthenol. Panthenol is often referred to as pro vitamin B5. And Panthenol has a lot of great benefits for your skin. It's actually very soothing, it's very anti irritation type of ingredient. But Panthenol also um, has the ability to bind a lot of hydration to your skin. It's a fantastic humectant and it can really help to hydrate your skin. That in itself really doesn't make it the barrier superstar. There's a lot of humectant ingredients out there that will help to hydrate your skin, especially if you're suffering from dehydration, a hallmark symptom of a weak moisture barrier, right? Panthenol really makes this list for a different benefit. Panthenol actually can help stimulate your skin's lipid production, and this is important because the lipid layer in your skin is really what helps to hold hydration in place. So not only can Panthenol add a lot of hydration into your skin, it can help your skin hold onto it better. It can help it hug it to your skin. Again, so important if you're suffering from transepidermal water loss or dehydration. So the product that I wanna recommend recommend for you guys that has panthenol in it is the TM Vita B5 toner. Now this is a fantastic toner. It's super hydrating. It's fairly watery. It's excellent if you like to layer up your, your toner in the seven skin method. It works really nicely for that. And it's also a very soothing toner. I like this additional benefit of like skin calming and skin soothing with the TM because, you know, when you have a weak barrier, I find that you're a lot more susceptible to like sensitized skin or stressed out skin, maybe even irritated skin. And so to have something that's going to be really high 
eye drain that's going to have the benefits for your moisture barrier, but also have the additional benefits of just kind of like helping to calm down your skin is really, really nice. Now, I do want to give a shout out to another TM product in this same line. In their Vita B5 line, they have a Panthenol cream. Now, the Panthenol cream actually contains 10% Panthenol. So you could definitely do a Panthenol heavy routine with those two products. Now in the TM toner, we also have an interesting ingredient. Um, it actually contains a couple of different peptides and peptides actually happen to be the third ingredient that I want to talk about in this video. Now peptides are very beneficial for your skin. Peptides are actually a part of amino acids and amino acids are really the building blocks of skin, their skin protein. Now like like niacinamide, uh, peptides are very skin restoring ingredients. These are really great to add into your routine to really allow your skin to have a little bit more resilience, to restore it, to give it more strength. And really, peptides really help your skin just bounce back better. And that's why they're often used in a lot of anti-aging products because they have this ability to really regenerate your skin. So peptides will definitely help support your other barrier ingredients, but don't rely on just peptides alone. Um, just like I said about, you know, Ceramides alone can't do it. Peptides alone can't do it. Niacinamide alone can't do it. So make sure that you're pairing these peptides along with other great barrier ingredients. So the product that I want to recommend for you guys that I love for some peptides in my skincare routine is the Claire's Midnight Blue Youth Activating Drop. Now this is a really beautiful, watery, purely peptide type of serum. This is really easy to add into your routine and appropriate for every skin type. This contains two types of peptides that are actually really well known for their skin restorative benefits. Amino acids. Amino acids are the building blocks of of skin. They are very important. And yet so many of us don't really even know that much about amino acids. I mean, they sound super familiar, probably from like biology class, right? Like they kind of sound familiar, but why are they beneficial for skincare? Now, amino acids kind of have this like sort of like cloud of mystery around them, I feel like for a lot of us like normal people, right? Um, but amino acids actually are considered part of a class of ingredient that you are probably a little bit more familiar with natural moisturizing factors. Yes, that sounds like something that's good for your moisture barrier, right? Amino acids are considered a natural moisturizing factor because they can um, really hydrate your skin. They can really bind a lot of water to your skin, really helping to replenish, replenish dehydrated skin and to help prevent trans epidermal water loss. Two symptoms that you are probably suffering from if you have a weak moisture barrier function or a damaged moisture barrier. You are much more susceptible to trans epidermal water loss and dried out skin. So amino acids really help to hydrate the skin. And amino acids are really important for the health of your skin from the inside, definitely, but it also has benefits for the outside of your skin too. Amino acids over time can really help improve texture issues on your skin which is a pretty cool benefit. So the product that I want to recommend for you that has a lot of amino acids in it is the Laneige Cream Skin Refiner. Now this is the star ingredient here is something called white tea leaf water and basically what this is it's actually a green tea leaf that has been modified and turned white. Green tea on its own is really well known for its amino acids and antioxidants, two great ingredients for your moisture barrier health. But when you turn the green tea um, into white tea leaf water, it actually ups the amino acid profile 150% more than green tea. Everybody loves green tea, but this actually has way more than green tea. So this makes it a really great amino acid focused product. It's a really cool product as well because it's, it's a toner. It goes on hydrating, but then it feels like a moisturizer once it's on your skin. So it's actually very balancing for your skin and very, very good for dehydrated skin or skin that has gone very dry from moisture barrier issues. So the fifth ingredient is beta-glucan. Now beta-glucan is a polysaccharide sugar. It's often found in mushrooms, algae. It's also found in yeast and in oats. And basically it's really well known for being a very calming ingredient for skin. It's very anti-inflammation, but it's also very anti irritation as well as being a fantastic moisturizer for the skin and I do want to put some emphasis on moisturizing for the skin because you know a lot of the, of the ingredients that we've talked about 
up until now especially have been about hydration and I think that we kind of fall into the trap of when we have dehydrated skin we think hydration 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 and that thinking isn't wrong because when your skin feels like all the hydration has been sucked out you want to replenish your skin with water right you want to rehydrate it hydration is important but I think a lot of us fall into the trap of hydration only and really the secrets to um, fighting dehydration again a symptom of a weak moisture barrier function right uh, you really do need to uh, seal that hydration and hug it into your skin with moisture uh, it's all about balance and I think a lot of us just kind of forget about the moisture element when it comes to dehydrated skin we just want to hydrate but that moisture really helps that hydration from leaving our skin through transepidermal water loss so an ingredient like beta-glucan can really help with transepidermal water loss it can really help balance the skin and help it um, to protect it while you're healing up your dehydration and your weak moisture barrier function. So the product that I wanna recommend that, I mean, honestly, when you think beta-glucan, I can't think of any better product than the iUnique Beta-Glucan Moisture Power Serum. This stuff is 98% beta-glucan and 2% of sodium PCA. Those are the only ingredients in the serum. So it's very simple, but it's a very effective uh, moisturizing serum. It's still very lightweight and it sinks into the skin really, really well. Now, just a quick texture warning for you guys. This is a little bit of a stringy a serum because it has that high amount of beta-glucan in it. Once you get it onto your skin, it spreads really well and it sinks in immediately and it absorbs. It has no finish and it's not sticky and it's not tacky. Stringy does not equal sticky by the way I just want to give you guys a heads up it does have a little bit of like a mozzarella cheese kind of an effect when you pull the dropper out of the bottle but once it's on the skin it's beautiful and the sixth ingredient is antioxidants antioxidants are very reparative and protective for your skin now antioxidants helps repair damage done by oxidative stress now oxidative stress can happen for a whole host of reasons and it can be linked to your stress levels yeah, unfortunately, our stress levels play such a big part in our health, including the health of our skin. It can also happen from things like pollution from your environment. It can happen from bad air quality. And it can also be due to lifestyle factors like diet and exercise. So some of this is like unavoidable, right? Um, so antioxidants are really great to add into your skincare routine and even in your diet, you know, consuming antioxidants, but also applying them topically is very, very helpful because it helps to repair the damage done by oxidative stress and it can actually help prevent further damage from occurring down the road, which is really cool, right? Antioxidants, kind of like peptides, are one of those ingredients that just really allow your skin to bounce back better and really help strengthen your skin. So the product that I want to recommend for you guys that has antioxidants in it is another iUnique product. This is the Noni Light Oil Serum. And this product is so cool because it's a total hybrid. Now this has the texture of a serum. It's very lightweight. It's hydrating on the skin and it absorbs really quickly but it happens to be jam-packed full of really skin beneficial oils including high linoleic acid oils like rosehip oil now you may remember from some of my other moisture barrier videos that I put a lot of emphasis on high linoleic acid oils because they have a great restorative benefit for your moisture barrier and we can find them in this serum so that's like a double bonus for your moisture barrier right so this is this allows you to get the benefits of a facial oil without any of the drawbacks because it's not greasy, it's not heavy. It feels like a serum, but it delivers the nourishment and the benefits of a facial oil without any drawbacks. Now the antioxidants in this particular product come in the form of vitamin E, maybe one of the most famous antioxidants of them all. And vitamin E also comes with its own additional benefits. Now vitamin E, the antioxidant vitamin E, has all the benefits that we just talked about, plus it actually helps boost your sunscreen's protection. What? It has additional UV protection. It particularly helps to protect you from UVB rays. So vitamin E in combination with your sunscreen, this is not a sunscreen replacement. You still need to be using UV filters to protect yourself, but this actually helps boost the benefits of those UV filters. It boosts the protection. And as you may know, protecting your skin from the sun 
Another thing that has a whole host of benefits, but you need to protect your moisture barrier from the sun because over time UV um, exposure, unprotected UV exposure can wear down your moisture barrier, making it weak and possibly even damaged. So adding in an antioxidant like this, I mean, honestly, you can't go wrong with antioxidants. So those are six ingredients that will really help your moisture barrier beyond just ceramides, cholesterol, and fatty acids. And you know, it really is about creating a well-rounded routine. You never want to pin your hopes and dreams on just one skincare ingredient or product alone, right? That is a recipe for disappointment. It really is about creating a well-rounded routine with a lot of different beneficial ingredients that will help push you further to your moisture barrier goals, whether it be moisture barrier health, moisture barrier strengthening, or moisture barrier healing. So let me know in the comment box below, what's one of those ingredients from this video that you might be currently using in your skincare routine right now? I have to tell you one that I always get excited to see still to this day, is an oldie but a goodie. It's niacinamide. I just love seeing that ingredient <laughs> in a skincare product. I'm like, I like me some niacinamide. So if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. I release two new skincare videos, usually focused on K-beauty, every single week. And don't forget to turn on notifications so you don't miss when I upload that new video. I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. If you can't wait to see me either, why don't you come check me out on Instagram. I post there daily about my skincare routines. I introduce new products and I do mini reviews. So come join me on Instagram and don't forget to say hi in the comments. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video and I hope you're having a beautiful day. Bye.